This is the homework for 5-4. For 5-4a, what patterns do they all have in common from the tables you previously created? So the patterns in the tables from case 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all exponential functions. They all have a pattern of growth that is multiply, multiplying by a constant. So if we look back at the patterns, you can see that for every month, each of them is being multiplied by a number. So for the case two, 10 multiplied by two is 20, it's doubling. Case three, for each month, it's being multiplied by three. In case four, for each month, it's being multiplied by four. So that has exponential growth. Um, previously in linear functions, this would be adding two, adding three, and it would create um, a linear function, a line when you graph it. For problem 54B, we need to graph the data from case two. In red is case two, and in black is case three. And I did both of them because I want to show you the difference of what exponential growth looks like as the multiplier or um, rate changes um, or increases. So we have the dependent variable, the number of bunnies, depends on the independent variable number of months. And you can see as for case two, it starts out with more bunnies and as it is in increases exponentially, it starts out slow, the growth rate starts out slow and then increases very rapidly, and um, so it gets steeper. Case three started out with two bunnies, but it's being multiplied by three. It's tripling each month, and so case three starts out slower and then increases um, rapidly, and eventually it passes case two, because it's being multiplied by three or triples instead of doubling each time. So you can see that this is going to be a steeper rate of change. And so the growth rate is um, greater. Now we're um, you need to describe the graph um, for case two. It's a curved, it's curved. The y-intercept is at positive 10. There are no x-intercepts because it's not decreasing. Um, it didn't start, um, it started at zero months, so it's not, if it started at one month, you then there would be an x-intercept, but um, there's no x-intercept. Um, it's increasing from left to right, and there are no negative values because you can't have negative number of bunnies and you can't have negative uh, number of months. For 5-4-C, we need to find the domain and range of the um, graph from case two. Domain are all the possible X values. So if we look at the X values, it starts at zero. So the x value is greater than or equal to zero and increases, and it can go on infinitely for the number of months. So it's less than or greater than infinity. So the domain is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to infinity. The range are all possible y values. So you look at the y-axis to find the, the range. And for zero months, you have 10 bunnies. So that's the minimum. So the range is y is greater than or equal to 10. And it can go infinitely um, on the y-axis, the number of bunnies, if you go infinitely in time. So it's less than or equal to infinity. So the range is y is greater than or equal to 10, but less than or equal to infinity.